Hey y'all, it's Hunter Elliott, rangeyot.com. Hope y'all are doing well. This afternoon I'm wrapping up a review on something that may be not quite as sexy as the firearm side, but equally or more so important, and that's hearing protection. So when I was out at the High Speed Gear Six Sour Media Day out there uh, toward the East Swansboro area, where I got turned on to these Walker Razor electronic hearing protection. And I'll be honest with you, I've had a little bit of experience with electronic hearing protection, but I've never really favored any kind of muffs. I've always kind of run the squishies, you know, just kind of roll them up, stick them in your ear, and they seem to do just fine. Primarily because I didn't like something holding on to my head all day. And when I was running a rifle, you run in some big muffs, standard type ear muffs, you see how big these are. It always messed with my stock weld. Where these razors, you can see there, here again, compared to just some standard muffs, hell, they're over half as thin. And so when I was running some of the uh, six sour, MCX Virtus and then some standard ARs back here at the house. These actually did not have any kind of problem giving me with the stock weld or cheek weld running the gun. So took these home with me and um, I've had some experience with them at the range doing a couple reviews. I want to talk about something, you know, as I've learned. These are pretty damn awesome. I'm going to be straight with you. So I guess electronic hair protection technology has come a long way because the ones that I had tried a couple years ago just flat out sucked. I mean, they flat sucked. And I was, I was like, this is not for me. And yeah, I'm kind of old and hard headed and don't like change. And so I'm just like, I'm done with that. But I had the opportunity to run these and I was like, well, this is a whole different world. Hmm. Let's talk a little bit about them. They run two separate high speed speakers that basically when you're wearing these, you know, you've got hearing protection, but if I'm talking to you or talking to somebody at the range, especially in a classroom environment, you're not having to pull your ears in and out or the little squishies, because after you squish those things a dozen times, they don't ever seem to quite work just right. But it, it sure gets old pulling your ears off and on, off and on, off and on, talk, shoot, talk, shoot. Where these, they allow you to easily communicate and hear somebody talking to you at normal levels. <clears throat> and basically, the voice is interpreted through these speakers and you hear it right here, and it's just like listen to your headphones through stereo. It's actually pretty cool. It did take me a couple minutes to get used to it because it's kind of funky. But once you, you know, once you use them for a few minutes, not a problem. Now they do come with a little auxiliary cord plug here. So if you had some music on your phone or what have you and you wanted to listen to it, you can plug your aux cord right in here. And I would suggest maybe doing that at the range. But you know, a lot of people wear hearing protection when they're gonna cut the grass or do whatever and you can just run your music right up in here. Something I think is pretty cool is, you know, when Allison is running the camera, she's running the video camera, we may be at a live fire, but she can run the audio feed from my camera to these. So she's still got her hearing protection going on while I'm shooting the rifle or handgun, whatever it may be, but she can still hear the audio from the camera to make sure the levels are as they should be. The suppression is right around 23 decibels and the reaction time is like two tenths of a second. The loudest thing that I ran, I got this little seven and a half inch Barnes Precision Machine SBR with a Jerry Mitchlick straight up muzzle brake. And let me tell you folks, this damn thing is loud. I'm talking like obnoxious, call the law, loud little rifle. And I ran several mags through this, running with those Walker Razors, still plenty of hearing protection. So. If it worked good with this, it ought to be fine for any daggum things, what I'm figuring. Now, being electronic hearing protection, they are battery powered. They do run on two AA batteries. Actually, they both fit in just one of these here. You got a little compartment. Stick those two AA batteries in. You've got an on off switch that not only allows you to control the off and on, but you can actually also control the volume of what you're hearing on the inside. Walker says you're gonna get about 40 hours out of a set of AA batteries. And if you're at the range and the batteries go dead and you don't have no spare ones, they're still good earmuffs. Kind of like your electric blanket. If power goes out, it's still a blanket. So honestly, that is really about it. I mean, they're hearing protection, but they're a little bit more than that. And you've got a lot of benefits over just your standard muffs or your squishies. If you're like me and it swore off electronic hearing protection for various reasons, Either they were crappy, they didn't fit good, they were uncomfortable, the hearing protection levels were not there. These Walker razors are definitely worth looking into. And I mean, I'm seeing them online for $44, $45. So your investment 
that and a couple AA batteries, it's certainly not going to be on the expensive side. So that's about it. That's all I got. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other, and I look forward to seeing you at the range.